do we have any choice in what we say? And when I say choice, I'm referring to Well, it's not exactly clear. Am I referring to attention? In other words, where we choose to look or listen or focus? And why does that attention matter in terms of what we say? Well, if you imagine that thoughts are all just happening, and there's millions of thoughts floating around somewhere. Um, and personally, I don't see them as personal. I don't have ownership um, over the thoughts that come into my mind or that I'm aware of. I see them as just existing and arising and maybe a lot of different people can focus on one thought at the same time um, and you're on the same wavelength. Um, but so there's that aspect of thought is just the attention and what am I choosing? Am I choosing to pay attention to certain thoughts and not others? And then there's the intention where we use that sort of heart center to wish or to will or to direct or to empathize or to what's the word create in a sense, but it's to it's a heart based um, movement, whereas the attention is more of a mental movement. Um, the intention is a deeper movement that is, um, well, it's more about feeling than it is about thinking. And it's more about what is sort of in accordance or in resonance or in harmony. And when we tune into that kind of intention, that is a certain type of attention. You are paying attention to that. Um, it's to me, they feel kind of different. They're not necessarily as connected. They're sort of little bit different realms. And so the question that I was asking at the beginning of this is, do we have choice in what we say? I think much of what comes into our minds has very little to do with what our intention is. Um, and that we tend to live more in this space of the mind where all these thoughts are happening. And those thoughts are a product of other people's intentions or other people's, mm, well, either that or they're just things that are being passed around, you know, that you could, depending on how you view that, is you could look at it as some kind of a virus or disease um, that's spreading, or you could look at it as just, anyway, you know what I mean? And so do you know what I mean? Or do you not know what I mean? Because I could try and explain that. 
um, it's hard to do this without really being able to ask people clarifying questions. Um, well, it seems clear that most people most of the time will spend their time sort of not absorbing, but just kind of letting information come into their mind from all the people around them. It's communication. And so much of that messaging, some like a lot of that messaging is being created by a very small subsection of people, a very small subsection of people that put out the majority of that information. And this is not like my opinion, right? This is um, when it comes to, for example, political misinformation, in other words, lies, when it comes to people actually making things up out of thin air that didn't happen in real life and no one saw those things happen, but they want to make up a story. Um, those news stories which permeate your social media, and I say, I mean, it's, I say our social media, but I'm just not on it. So, you know, <laughs> so I, yeah, I can only assume that, but um, those stories that you hear and those stories that come to you um, in formats just like this one right here um, are largely curated and propagated by a really small group of folks, like thousands. It's in the number of like five or 10,000 people who contribute the bulk, like 90% of all misinformation and news stories that get shared and liked and promoted. And it's done with total, I assume, intention um, and a recognition of the fact that most people are not spending all their time intending things and putting them out there, but rather are just letting things be and consuming. Um, so when I say, do we have a choice in what we say? Well, I'm thinking most people might just be affected by and consume whatever comes into their onto their radar. And usually nowadays that's going to be on a phone screen because most people I'm talking to you, most people are just doing this and scrolling all day long. And as we've heard over and over and over again, whatever it is you're seeing here is just a really hyper specific view of reality based on what some people want you to believe so that you will buy their products so that you will continue doing this and continue scrolling. And of course, if you're aware of that, it doesn't matter. Because if you're aware of that, then this whole little thing right here can be your whole world. And you can play with that just like you can play with the rest of the world that's out there. Um, but if you're not aware of it, then isn't it the case? And again, this is not a problem, but that most of what you say is just going to be repeating and regurgitating what you've been fed. And that's okay. I'm just thinking about it for myself. And is that the best way for me to live my life that's going to make me feel good? Um, I don't think it is. I don't necessarily enjoy that process of just spreading lies. I don't really necessarily enjoy that process. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure I haven't looked deeply into why that is. But I wonder about the possibility of being conscious of what it is that I'm saying. It is seemingly like a lot of effort. It seems like it's way more trouble than it's worth. Um, and yet, I'm still kind of questioning it. Still questioning it. Do you ever question that? Or are you just like, eh, well, that's fine, whatever. I'll go with the flow and chill. You know, which to me it seems it sounds so appealing. If I were able to do that, just so appealing. Because you don't really need to think. You don't really need to worry about anything. You just go with it. And it all works out in the end. It sounds so nice. Um, however, and is there a way to choose what you want to say without really trying to control it? Is there a way to 
Or are we just destined, right, to be pawns in this game? Are we just destined to be fodder? Are we just destined to be imprisoned and to be enslaved? Is that is that really all that it is? Um, and uh, most people are that, you know, most people are that. And that's okay. And we're much more than that. Or we're singular and we're unique and we're uh, capable of generative, creative uh, actions and behaviors and speech. And um, But do we want to? Or is it worth it? Or does it matter? If I, if I try to create something right now that is spontaneous, new, fresh, that's in the moment of the time. However, it's that it's not something that is just a thousand times diluted and regurgitated. Um, but that's like an honest or true expression. Um, why does it feel like it's so challenging, difficult? Uh, why does it feel like there's too much resistance around it? Why does it feel like It's like, don't go there. Don't even bother. Don't even try. You know, don't even try going there. Um, and it's like just... I don't know. I, I just... I don't feel like I have it in me to just kind of take shit from other people. I just never have been able to successfully do that and at least not consciously and um you know if that makes me an outcast and a loner and i'm not part of society in any real way i guess that's part of the price that i pay for refusing that sort of conformity and refusing to do what other people tell me that i should do um because it's convenient for those people. Because those people need, I mean, look. I'm not a smart person and I'm not a courageous person and I don't have a lot of really great attributes, you know, like that. Um, so mostly what this is, is just this person who's kind of very sickly and, and weak and disabled and um, struggling to survive and just really wishing and hoping that that something is going to arise within me that is that has that strength and that bravery and that courage to be able to like to face to really look that adversity just like right eye to eye and just say you know what i recognize you i recognize you as myself i'm not afraid and I'm just going to continue, I'm, or I'm just going to, and I'm just, and, and okay, and so be it. So we are here, we're coexisting, you know, it's like that being able to just stare down, whatever you want to call it, the dragon, the abyss, um, your shadow, um, and because like, what are your options, right? You can either fight it which just you keep that you'll ne you can never win you'll never win because it's always going to be stronger than you um and or you'll become it you know that's that's not going to ever lead to any any kind of promised land and the only other option there or not only but the other option the main other option is just to be silently let it eat you alive and um the path of least resistance you know and um something in me just has I, I something in me just refuses to do that so there is this middle ground that is like acknowledging that these seemingly opposing belief systems and these seemingly opposing forces and this duality that causes such a conflict within 
it rips us apart um, or you know it, it, there's there's always there's there there's got to be some sort of like either third way or many ways you know um the, you know, the, the those those other options because you have the two and then there's the three and then there's just sort of the the infinite um and anyway it gets kind of convoluted at this point now because i'm talking about infinite that's not going to help <laughs> i mean maybe it will but but good luck getting it too so good luck wrangling the entire universe to just stop what it's doing and just like take an interest in your particular individual life you know so there's there there uh, it's a struggle you know it's a real struggle especially just to Anyway, I'm not going to get into the details, but that's kind of how I feel. So the question at the beginning of this video was, is it possible to choose what we say? I don't know that I've been choosing any of what I've said so far. I don't know that. I have not, haven't been in this place of like real clarity or something like that, that I'm like really aware of what I'm saying. I'm just kind of going with it, you know. And um, and yet there there is this intention of like I am trying to talk about this particular point of view because if I just let myself listen to what's happening around me out there with all the other people's voices that are happening and believe it or not fortunately or unfortunately um i can't speak for you but i assume that we all have this particular capacity to kind of hear and feel everything that's happening around us um the human mind is most likely far greater in its perceptive abilities than science might lead us to believe um, and, uh, I mean, there's a lot of really loud and angry and fearful and all kinds of different conversations going on. And those conversations usually just dominate the airwaves. Like I said, I'm not on social media. I'm not listening to the news or watching the news, but you can feel it. Duh. You can feel it. And, and if so, you can hear it. Like, do you honestly believe that? Um, in order to, that if people are putting out signals that are flying through the air around you, do you honestly believe that you need a specialized piece of electric, uh, electric um, hardware to actually attenuate and to tune into those signals um, and translate it into a form that you can understand? Do you honestly believe that that's the only way that you can hear? Because it's not. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a, people have been doing this for long before the advent of like technology and electrical engineering and physics and all, you know, it's, it's like the understandings of those things came later, um, to try and make sense of this thing that we couldn't understand. And that's been great. And also, um, you can just hear and feel and sense things anyway and um yeah so i think i think that that i'm i'm trying to like balance or navigate that um without really like s staying in one realm or the other um the realms of science and the realms of spirituality you want to call it that or you know what i mean the, the, there is one ob objective material world view in which i mean it's not real unless you can perceive it or see it right and then there's a whole other world view where you know i'm not gonna get, look i'm not gonna i'm not gonna preach to you because 
I'm I, I'm I honestly like a real big fan of both sides of that story. Um, I like them both a lot. And so in the same way that on the like political spectrum, I have a lot of affection for both the liberal and conservative ends of the political spectrum. So I can't preach to you one way or the other, but the conversations happening right now though are like really loud, <laughs> really fearful, really scared um, around the, the politics of what's actually happening in reality, economically and socially. And what I was going to say is that it would be so easy for me to just sit down here and without any knowledge of politics and any facts or data or information that I've heard, because I don't talk to people about it, I try to avoid that. It would be so easy for me to just tap into that and just start speaking on that. And, you know, in an uninformed sense, but at the same time, like a very informed sense, as much as I can be with my level of awareness or maturity, which granted is extremely minimal and really, really immature. Um, but it would be so easy for me to just get on this platform and start spewing political rhetoric um, and religious, to a certain extent, dogma. Um, but I believe that the, the realm of politics is more that realm now because people don't really go to church, but they do um, watch and participate. It's social media, right? It's social media. That That's like the new religion. And um, I just, I opted out of that too, just like I opted out of my religion that I was raised in, which was Christianity. Um, and yet I could sit here and I could start getting into one or the other little tunnels of opinion and start, I could just start blah, 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 blah. I mean, it'd be so easy to do. You have no idea how easy that would be. And it would be so easy to build up so much hatred, so much fear. And like in my heart, in my body, that feels like the worst thing. It's like, how could you ever do that to yourself? How could you ever do that to people? Like just because you can doesn't mean you should. And so sitting here on this YouTube platform, like I remember, um, I'm not going to name names, actually, never mind. Just We'll just let it go. Uh, but so anyway, that's not the path that I'm choosing to walk down. And I, because it's like, like, I recognize how easy it would be and how, like, the energy that you get from it is like poison it, to me, to my body, maybe to someone else, it's what they need. It's exactly what they need. Um, but for me, it's like, um, I can, I could see no quicker way for me to um, really like destroy myself in a way that is not like, oh yeah, break it down, build it back up again. Woohoo. Like, but in a like, cool, you've really ruined things and yeah, good luck next life, you know, kind of a thing. So, um, I could be wrong, but I feel like resisting that is, you know, putting up that fight is probably still at this point worth it. Um, that's what I mean though, about like, do we have choice in what we say? I like, there are so many topics that I could speak on that I choose not to partly because I'm not informed, but more so because it's not what I want to create or to uphold. Um, you don't need a PhD in most topics to actually speak on those topics with some amount of authority or intelligence. All you need is either a big ego or an open heart and open mind. And then either which way you're going to be able to, to do that. And so um, for me, I'm more like just trying to explore my own ignorance, my own immaturity and, and understanding like why am I personally suffering so much in this life? What's that all about? And what can I learn from that? Um, you know, and, and recognizing that it's interesting because to be, let's see, to be a political, I mean, a politician is just to talk and to lie and to 
steal and to cheat and have good intentions but you know what i mean to push people around bully people fight i mean it's not exactly what it is it's just part of the job and to do that requires you to play a lot of different roles put on a lot of different masks some of which will kind of become you you know it's very hard to take them off to, to play on one side or to be on one team and say, this is what I am and what I stand for. And um, I don't know, I can't speak for politicians. I assume for me personally, like, of course I don't actually believe that that's the right way. It's just, I'm playing this role so that I can participate in this game on this stage and hopefully someday create a better world and a more equitable world. And obviously not everyone, I'm, Maybe my in my naive mind, like that's what most politicians aspire to do is to actually be public servants, to actually do good in the world, you know, and um, to be able to do that from a, it's tough, man. I mean, because if there's only one, if it's a king, if it's an emperor, monarch, I mean, yeah, you probably think you're being unbiased and doing the best and the greatest good for everyone. And um, if it's, well, you've count yeah, as if councils or, or parliaments are, are better. I mean, um, not really, you know what I mean? Not really. Um, I feel like democracy and then whatever that's going to become is, uh, is, is a reasonable track to, to kind of put what do you call it? Betting on your horses or putting your eggs in the basket? I don't know. It's a <laughs> it's a reasonable track to invest in. I think that it has a higher likelihood of success. It's an I think I see it as an evolution. I see democracy as really going through some huge changes right now that are going to look very very different. And they're not. It's not like they're not going to look socialist or communist, but they're going to certainly integrate aspects of. Um, uh, I feel like there is a, a burgeoning movement toward, and this could just be because I'm poor, but I don't think so. I think that, <laughs> I think that there is a burgeoning movement like that toward, this could just be because the population is too big for the planet that we live on, but I don't think so. Um, but it's possible. I mean, it's entirely possible. So that's why I don't like to talk about these things because it's all just malarkey anyway. Um, trying to coexist people people don't even people are not even able to coexist on, on a small local physical scale right we have these insane infrastructure of <laughs> monopolies delivering everything to everyone at all times um that are so vast and so strong and large and yet also so fragile and just so vulnerable and like not resilient and um it, you know it's it's not a, like, not that it's a bad way to construct a system, just that like it's efficient and capitalism is efficient. And also it's not sustainable. And when I say not sustainable, I mean, all of the young folks who are talking about, oh God, well, the world is a piece of shit and we're all dead anyways. I'm going to try, but eh. like, that's the result of this program, guys. Like, for any of my audience who, I, who who even watches these, I don't know, but any of my audience who's like, who's uh, older, you know, in their 50s or 60s or 70s and not of this mindset and they're like, oh, well, you know, I think things are great the way they are. It's like, well, talk to a young person and see how great things are. Oh, but in my day, they were, it's like, no, well, we're not in your day. Um, you know, we're in 2024. Um, oh, man. You know, I think I'm going to have to stop this video because, well, 13% battery. Yeah, I'm going to stop the video. I don't want to lose the video. It's possible that I could lose the video, so. Oh, man. Well, anyway, this is just a bunch of nonsense that I'm just talking. But that question I said, do we choose what we say? Or can we choose what we say? Um, I guess that's just one question. I don't even know if I even talked about that or even touched upon it. So, frick if I know, probably me. Well, I'll leave it as a question.